Dream 6 is an absolute masterclass in franchise filmmaking. From the way they advance the story, to the development of old and new characters, the Scream franchise has just done everything right when it comes to creating a great cinematic franchise that both captures the modern era, but still remains timeless. I think Scream 6 is the best film yet in the franchise, and there's a lot to unpack as to why it is, so let's just get straight into it. In this video essay, I'm going to break down why Scream 6 is pure genius, and why this is hands down the greatest horror franchise of all time. Firstly, what makes Scream 6 in particular so great is the way it portrayed its two female characters. The film is a two-hander between Sam and Tara Carpenter, who were played by Jenna Ortega and Melissa Barrera. In a world where every female-led film seems to be this preachy message of how women are so great and need to be empowered, it's refreshing to watch a film that actually symbolizes and shows women's empowerment in its characters rather than just preach it. For some reason, Hollywood today thinks that a powerful female character is one that wins every battle and never has to change or grow throughout the film. However, in reality, it's the opposite. And Scream 6 shows this perfectly, as both Jenna Ortega and Melissa Barrera have their own demons and battles that they need to face, and by no stretch of the imagination are they perfect. But through pushing themselves and fighting through potential loss, they are both able to overcome their internal and very much external battles. This is what an empowering story is, and it's stories like this which can help other young women and young men learn what true strength and resilience is, and definitely does more to help the women's empowerment movement than weak stories like She-Hulk. So a lot of credit has to go to the screenwriter James Vanderbilt and Guy Busick for creating these great characters. And on the note of writers, I'm so glad they wrote a sixth entry to a franchise that didn't feel like this constant homage to what was, but rather a story that helps grow and expand the franchise without leaning on the first few films. Don't get me wrong, the film definitely has references back to Scream's early days, however it doesn't feel trapped in what was, but rather confident in what it is and what it can become. The film fleshes out Samantha and Tara's characters and relationship in such a way that we feel refreshed and revitalized when it comes to the Scream franchise, and we now want to see what the future holds for these two rather than the common feeling we get in many other six plus film franchises where we just want them to give up and let us enjoy the early films before it turned to absolute lunacy and garbage. What also makes this franchise and film in particular feel so great is how it has something to say and lets us know that this movie isn't just for money but rather because they actually had a compulsion and need to tell this story. It's a wonderful story about growing from your past mistakes as well as the mistakes of your parents, and how no matter the circumstances we find ourselves in or are born into, we can change and grow, and that failure isn't being imperfect, but rather giving up on the pursuit of perfection. We will all make mistakes, but what separates good people from bad people is that good people are willing to learn from them and seek help. Finally, what takes this film from a great one to an excellent one is that it doesn't forget what it is, and actually leans into it more. It knows it's a horror film, and so why beat around the bush? Why not just show every bit of gore you possibly can? And boy, does this movie do that. The stabbing scenes aren't just those basic shots of the knife attacking the body, but rather these clear close-ups of the knife penetrating flesh and twisting inside the body. It isn't afraid to sit in these moments too, it holds a close-up of the knife inside flesh for like 5, 10, sometimes 15 seconds. And as a horror fan, this is great. Not in a sick way, but in a cinematic way. It was just brilliant. And there were moments where people were stabbed 25 to 30 times, rather than your common and generic four. It just adds this cinematic element to the film that both grosses you out and delivers great entertainment. Because this is by far the most fun I've had at the cinema in a at least two years. It was enjoyable from the first scene to the last, and no scenes, lines, or performances dropped the ball in any way. All in all, Scream 6 just goes to show that a franchise can never run too long, but rather just forget or give up on what it is, whereas Scream continues to grow, evolve, and entertain us in amazing ways. I recommend everyone go watch this movie, and I give it a solid 9.5 out of 10. I hope you guys like this video, and I'll see you all on my next one.